Hey, hi guys. Uh, welcome to PCF. Uh, in this video, I am going to give uh, like what is a field parameters and then how to by using field parameter, how to change the dynamic X axis and dynamic Y axis. Okay, suppose if you want to see the segment wise uh, profit, okay, it will change that even if you want the total sales, okay, segment wise total sales, okay. You can so whatever the country wise okay it's changing x axis dynamically so whether you, if you are able to see here see so whatever if you want to select the products okay it's changing the products dynamically with the sales amount and if you change the segment segment also changing dynamically in the x axis and also you can uh, change the measures also dynamically so like measures will be in a y axis right so even that y axis also you can change that okay profit so even you can go and then change the product wise profit. So we can change the dynamic axis. Okay, so how to implement this? Okay, we'll see that. Uh, so let me open one empty. Okay, so uh, I connected one data set. So here you need to enable the what if parameter. Okay, so what if parameter, field parameter. So to enable the field parameter, you have to go with the options and options and settings. You know, options and settings there is a preview features okay you have to go with the preview features in preview features there is a field parameter so there is the preview features so here is the preview features in preview features so here is we have a field parameter you have to uh, check this okay you have to check this then only you can able to work with this okay let's cancel that so let me you know uh, select any of the visual so that is the you know, bar chart or pie chart, you can take anyone. So just, uh, uh, I am trying to, you know, uh, select this uh, like uh, country by sales. Okay, let's select the country by sales. So here, just we are going with the manual one, right? So now go with the what if parameter in modeling. There is a what if parameter. After enabling this, okay, you can able to see this one. Otherwise, there is no drop down. Okay, just go with the field parameter. And the field parameter, if you want, you know, x axis, okay, just uh, go with the x axis. What, what do you want? X axis in, uh, so you need a date, dimension, all text fields, okay, dimension. So, what are the dimension fields you have? So, you can add in the x axis, right? Country and, uh, you know, um, segment or products, okay, product and the segment. If you want, you can go with the month name. Okay, this is the you know x-axis. I can write this name as x-axis and save. So we have created the what if parameter for x-axis, right? So x-axis done. Next, so automatically it's created the internally this code. So we uh, you know again you have to go with the y-axis. Okay, let's go with the y-axis field parameter. So whatever the measures you have, okay. I have some measures here. So like uh, profit, a major profit, I have some of the profit, okay. Some of the profit and then some of the sales, okay. Not for the numeric numbers, guys, okay. Just you have to select the measures here, okay. So, and then name it as a Y axis, okay. Y axis and then create. So it's automatically, so what if parameter, you know, right? So what if parameter automatically create the parameters as well, slices. So just uh, I'm adding these slices here. Okay. And now instead of X axis manually, so we, what we'll do, we'll drag the X axis, uh, we'll drag this one. Okay, we'll uh, drag the X axis here. And then instead of Y axis, what we'll do, so instead of sales amount, we we'll, uh, drag the sales amount here. So just select any product. Okay, it will you know, change the, uh, sorry, okay, product. Uh, so select any major. So it's changing the major. Okay, product wise. So see each product wise sales amount. Now you can select the segment. Okay, segment wise sales amount. See, it's changing dynamically. Okay, so this way we can change dynamically. So see month wise. Okay and even country wise okay you can go with them not only sales you can go and then select the major, uh, profit so now i have selected the profit so profit wise is changing the things okay profit by segment profit by products so hope you um, you know 
like the video guys okay this is the dynamic uh, access okay this is the dynamic access uh, which we have created so hope you like the video uh, please uh, share and subscribe my channel guys for more videos thank you